Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Uzaloo Garage. Today, today we got a lot of snow, about 10 inches. In today's video is we're going to be trying out this brand new 2021 Jeep Renegade. This is my wife's uh, Jeep and she got it a couple months ago and um, let's see how well it does in the snow, in the snow mold and stuff like that. See how deep the snow is. Look at that. We're going to take her to work. We're going to do a video. If you ever seen a video from the Ram truck, we're going to do a similar video of the renegade dang look at that we got hit with some snow that's pretty deep guys all right we'll see how well she does in the snow getting her to work let me clean it off and we'll uh get going Okay, on this 2021 uh, Jeep Renegade, and here's the, your system for your four-wheel drive. And you have auto, okay, auto, that's pretty much what we drive in all the time. And that's pretty much like an all-wheel drive. It's gonna kick on when you need it, when the roads get slippery. And then snow, we got it in snow now because we wanna test it out in the snow. We got a lot of snow last night. And then sand's pretty much for, you know, sandy conditions. You're like up north doing some trails and a lot of sand you're gonna put that in there and then mud's pretty much for mud and then you know on our slippery uh grass stuff like that now the the trail hawk comes with the rock feature this renegade limited four by four does not and and that's what we have so you just basically just turn the dial and we go back to auto and then want to indicate here what you got or you can go to four wheel drive lock right here right away in auto and that will be locked up for you right there. Or you just take that off. It even tells you on a screen up here. We'll try to lock. We'll go snow. Gives you a nice cool little feature of the Renegade within the snow. We'll click at the sand. It even shows you what you're in sand mode. And then mud mode. That's pretty neat. So what we're going to do is. This is my wife's uh, Renegade. She likes it. And. Plus, we're going to take her to work like I did on my Ram truck right here. Made a video on the all-wheel drive system on that. I'll have the link for you guys to check that out. That video is actually doing pretty good. And then first time here, we do auto detailing videos. Videos like this. Auto repair in our own vehicles. Car shows in the Detroit area. Something you guys like. Go ahead and subscribe and comment. And if you have one of these vehicles, uh, let us know how you like it. And if there's any, um, let us know if uh, something we don't know, you know, about the four-wheel drive system or anything about your Renegade, let us know. We can learn from you guys in the comments. Yeah, it's been hard to detail, doing any detailing with this. It's been really cold. But uh, just for my detailed friends that watch my videos, our, our plan for this Jeep is to only use Turtle Wax products. It's a brand new Jeep, and then we're gonna have a series on this Jeep on how to maintain your new vehicle or any vehicle actually with Turtle Wax products that you can buy at the store. I'm just waiting for the wife to get in here so we can uh, take off and do some road tests. You see, pretty deep. At least this way, you guys can get an idea from an owner aspect of how well it does in the snow instead of the other channels that get a vehicle for a week and they just talk about it.
like 25, 26. I got up to 33 a minute ago. All right, just testing this thing out. First time I really drove this. Right, <laughs> it was pretty fun mess around with this little thing. No one on the road on that road. It was had a little fun. We used to do that stuff when we were younger with our trucks. This when I was like 20 when I had my 93 Ranger 4x4. We used to when it snowed like this, we'd get up middle of the night and just cruise and do stuff like this. Just fun. All right, so far handled pretty good, guys. This road's been plowed over a little bit. Yeah, but it was nice to go on that dirt road that hasn't been plowed and make our own tracks. What do you guys think? The kids taking the truck to work. All right, guys, we're back at home, and uh, that was kind of fun messing around with this thing, you know? Um, I think it's, uh, for the ending, there's a couple things I gotta bring up. Now, I did notice when I'm turning, I didn't have it on the uh, camera on. And when I was doing the turning, I was giving it some gas, you know what I mean? And uh, the traction control came on where the flash is on the thing. And it kind of like I lose a little bit of power going in the turns. And, and that's kind of stinks too because you're trying to get through those uh, deep snows going, you know, turning. Because that's a lot of times that's where it's piled up when you're turning on the road. You know, especially a main road, you know, side street. I did notice that as soon as my uh, losing traction, it kicked on and it basically felt like I it... it I didn't have too much acceleration and, and that kind of like stinks so you stuff like that you have to shut that off and then you wouldn't have that problem uh, I can try it it's supposed to snow again this week too maybe I could take it out and try it again and take it off but it, it it turned pretty good going in there it just if there's a lot of traffic you may want to wait till it's clear before you pull out because it's gonna you know kind of shut you down that's what I call it basically take the gas away from you and you gotta, you know, just keep going. That's about it. And so that's about my two flaws about the uh, track control turning in, a, in the corner, turning onto a street with a lot of snow. You're gonna have to make sure it's very clear out or turn off your traction control. And just better tires, man, better tires. And that's about it. And it plowed through the snow great around here on the dirt roads that I took you through. I knew it wasn't gonna be plowed. And that was nice to be able to show you guys um, you know, real driving experience in snow from an owner's aspect. You know, well, it's the wife's car, but uh, it's that, that, that color, I don't know. I forgot the name of the color. That bikini blue or something like that. That's, I don't know. So, and I'm gonna have some end links at the end of the video. You guys can check them out. And thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate my old subscribers always sticking around and commenting. And it's always great to see new comments and new subscribers on our channel. We really appreciate it. And don't forget, if you own one of these, to uh, let us know how do you like it. And, uh, or if you'd like to see more videos on this vehicle besides detailing it, let us know. And we'll try to make them for you. You guys be safe out there and have a great day. Later.